So as you can see next to me, I have chicken manure here that was brought to the farm. Actually, this is one of the first things that were brought to the farm uh, even before we set up the chicken uh, house and also the, the sheep pen. Uh, this was actually used in planting trees and uh, the K Apple fence that we have at the farm. And one thing that I've noticed is that chicken manure or even cow manure that is just right behind me is part and parcel of what we call organic manure. Now, 80% of Kenyans actually prefer organic products. Yeah, and now um, organic manure is going to be a very, very important factor when it comes to farming, right? Now, excuse my voice, I've been down with a flu, so my voice had actually disappeared and it's just coming bad. I thought maybe I should just shoot first before it thinks of going again. But thanks a lot for those people who've actually wished me well. Um, whatever it is that you are, may God keep blessing you. My name is Samuel and of course this is Africa Farming. Karibu, karibu sana. So what exactly is organic manure or organic fertilizer? Essentially, uh, organic manure refers to um, fertilizer or manure that has been derived from animal or plant waste. It can also be from highly processed products that have um, a compost or manure base. Now, there are several advantages of using organic manure in your farm. And of course, anything that has an advantage must have a disadvantage so in this particular episode we'll discuss some of the advantages and disadvantages of using organic manure organic fertilizer in your farm now the first advantage is what we call the soil structure now the organic matter in organic fertilizer uh, enables improve the soil structure's ability to you know retain and hold water and nutrients in the soil Secondly, um, organic fertilizer enables microbes and, you know, those living organisms in the soil to thrive. If you've noticed, those people who use, um, the reason why most people discourage the use of artificial fertilizer is because it, sometimes it might actually not enable living organisms that help, you know, make the soil fertile thrive. Yeah, it actually, is, some of these artificial fertilizers always uh, kills these my microbes. One of the advantages of using organic manure is that it helps the microbes and these living organisms in the soil that actually helps improve the soil itself. Uh, you know, sorry we have uh, some flies around but anyway yeah so it actually helps improve um, or rather it, it helps these microbes thrive so that the soil can actually improve in terms of its fertility. So um, let me just try and explain it from so that you understand essentially how, the difference in orga between organic and synthetic fertilizer. Now, the, the, the makeup, can, can I say genetic makeup of organic manure, is that they contain what we call carbon. And in addition to potassium, phosphorus, and um, nitrogen, it actually kind of provides food for these microbes to thrive. Now, on the other hand, synthetic fertilizers have, you know, um, chemicals uh, that do not have carbon and these can actually be disruptive uh, in you know in the soil makeup process another advantage of using organic manure is that they are actually environment they're actually sustainable and environmental friendly so synthetic fertilizer on the other hand is that when they run on our waterways and end up for example in a lake or sea somewhere especially during this time where we have rain if you're using synthetic fertilizer in your farm these chemicals will actually go and destroy uh, marine life yeah but when it comes to organic matter or organic manure uh, because they are part and parcel of you know the, the soil makeup process because they have carbon and in, co in conjunction with, uh, with with potassium phosphorus and nitrogen they are they form fodder for the living organisms and also these microbes so it's like part and parcel of what the environment is made of. Another thing is that organic uh, matter, apart from it being associated with the soil structure as I've mentioned, they, are, they don't run off easily as compared to synthetic fertilizer. Now, when we talk about cost efficiency when it comes to your farming, purchasing organic fertilizer might be expensive at first, right? But in the long run, you'll find that you'll reduce your costs, especially when it comes to fertilizer. This is why organic fertilizer contains carbon and in addition to potassium, nitrogen and phosphorus, they make fodder for making the soil fertile. And this actually helps you reduce 
um, you know, uh, cases where you'll need pesticides, you know, for your farm. So one of the things that uh, you will reduce on is the cost of purchasing, for example, pesticides and all these other things that you need to, to purchase when, you, when you're using synthetic fertilizer. So in the long run, you'll find that it is cost neutral as opposed to when you purchase synthetic fertilizer, which might be cheaper at first, but in the long run, you'll have to purchase other complementary chemicals and all that to use alongside what you had already purchased. Additionally, some synthetic fertilizers um, will cause damage to some plants, leaves and, you know, their roots. This is actually very rare when you're using organic manure. As I mentioned again, organic manure is part of the soil structure, so it is less harmful to plants. For those people who've used synthetic fertilizer before, you realize that you just don't use any type of synthetic fertilizer on any soil. That is a disadvantage of synthetic fertilizer. You have to do your soil test and all that. But when it comes to organic manure, you can use it on any type of soil and throughout the year. That is the, one of the best advantages of using organic manure. It doesn't matter what type of soil you're using, you can apply at any type of the year at, uh, on any type of soil. Of course, as we've said, anything that has an advantage must surely have a disadvantage. So some of the disadvantages of using um, uh, organic manure include first, there is what we call inconsistency. The way you'll, you'll, you'll prepare your organic manure is different from the way your neighbor will prepare. So depending on how you prepare, you might have different results for the different types of uses that you want to have. For synthetic fertilizer, for example, if you're buying DAP, you will know that DAP is supposed to, you know, do A, B, C, and D, top dressing and all that. But for organic manure, it has to go through the process. So if you miss something within the process, it might actually bring inconsistent results. Now, secondly, the level of nutrients present in organic manure is usually low compared to synthetic fertilizers. Of course, synthetic fertilizers have gone through, you know, the factory tests and all that. So they've checked actually the, the level of nutrients and all that. But for organic manure, yeah, especially that which you, you make at home, uh, like this one here, you will find that some, the nutrients present are actually low. Additionally, the nutrients are complexed in organic chemical structure, meaning they may not produce the pop of color that you normally see when you use synthetic fertilizer on, you know, on your plants. Yeah, so you'll find that there'll, uh, there'll be a big difference visually uh, between those plants that you've used organic manure and those that you've used synthetic fertilizer. Of course, synthetic fertilizer will have that pop of color. So always know that using organic fertilizer, unlike synthetic fertilizer, is a process. It's just not an event. It has to, it, it takes time. It takes time as the soil becomes uh, more fertile and more fertile and more fertile. So year in, year out, as you keep using the organic fertilizer, your farm now will continue, you know, coming up and bringing out the pop in it. And finally, as I've said, um, most people do not know how to make, the, especially those DIY compost uh, manure. Most people don't know the whole process of making it. So due to, you know, the difference in the skill set required in making your compost, you'll find that there will be a lot of inconsistency, as I mentioned earlier. And there you have it. Those are some of the advantages and disadvantages or merits and demerits of using um, organic manure. But of course, we really, really recommend most people to use organic manure if you can. But if it is a must, then try as much as possible to use those non-harmful synthetic fertilizer. Because at the end of the day, we want to keep our soil healthy. And that's it for us today. If you have any questions with regards to this video, if you have any feedback, go to the comment section. Let us know what you think about this video. And of course, share with your friends. Don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel. And of course, we'll meet next time as we do our next video. Until next time, changamka na ukulima. Bye, 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 bye. Hii lazima tuatumia kupanda ini. Boga, lembo gatumeleta. Yeah.